Agnostic Front guitarist and co-founder Vinny Stigma was a first-generation punk rocker and skinhead who formed Agnostic Front in 1980 with vocalist John Watson. Watson only lasted a few months before being replaced by Roger Muret, a product of refugee parents, he had first-hand experience in social injustice and opinionated views about politics coursing through his veins. When combined with Stigma's ferocious, primal rhythm guitar Muret's charisma as a decadent urban messiah would come to personify the band's sound, bassist Adam Mucci and drummer Rabies joined soon after. The group adopted the new name Agnostic Front at Stigma's insistence because he thought it sounded like a movement, and they issued their first independent release the United Blood EP in 1983, this was followed by 1984's career-defining victim in Pain album which contained a 15-minute blast of pure New York hardcore and saw the arrival of new members Rob Cabula in bass and Jimmy Coletti in drums. It also confirmed Agnostic Front's brief status as leaders along with precursors The Cro-Mags and Murphy's Law of the Already Cresting Movement, which found its weekly showcase via the now-legendary Sunday matinees at favorite Lower East Side Haunts a 7 and CBGBs. But Agnostic Front were always on the verge of collapse due to Miret and Stigma's mercurial relationship and like most of their hardcore brethren, were already tampering with their sound. Inevitably as their musicianship continued to improve, the band members including drummer Louis Bido and additional guitarist Alex Kynan began losing some of their raw hardcore spontaneity, and with heavy metal growing in popularity day by day it was no surprise when they started experimenting with the tightly controlled velocity of thrash metal. Coincidentally picked up by the speed metal-friendly combat records, the band struggled through the sessions for what would become 1980's AXS Cause 4. Alarm album today acknowledged as a crossover landmark alongside efforts by DRI and Corrosion of Conformity. It was also considered a betrayal and a travesty by many of the group's early supporters, who couldn't have cared less that Cause for Alarm was teaching thousands of metalheads to appreciate hardcore. Some saw 1987's subsequent Liberty and Justice for as an act of compromise, it featured an entirely revised cast of backup musicians in guitarist Steve Martin, bassist Alan Peters and drummer Will Shepler and did away with the metal-style drumming to pursue a looser, less disciplined direction. Not that it mattered the original hardcore scene had pretty much disintegrated by this time anyway, with growing dissension among the movement's many factions straight edge, skinheads etc. transforming most concerts into armed combat and leading to many clubs being shut down, released in 1989, Livet's CBGB with bassist Craig Sedari collected agnostic front's best loved material as heard in the band's natural element and, in a way symbolized NYHC's official wake. As if to punctuate that fact, Roger Muret was arrested soon thereafter on serious drug charges and sentenced to nearly two years in prison. In the interim Vinny Stigma and Agnostic Front carried on as best they could, undertaking their first European tour with guitarist Matt Henderson and substitute singer Alan Peters, while Muret found solace writing lyrics about his predicament. These would comprise the bulk of 1992's comeback album The Overtly Metallic One Voice, which was pretty much dead on arrival since much of Agnostic Front's following had moved on to other things during the band's extended absence. A greatest hit set entitled To Be Continued was also issued at this time, prompting Agnostic Front to call it a day following a farewell concert at CBGB's. The final show was recorded for 1993's Last Warning, after which Stigma and Henderson formed Madball with Muret's younger brother Freddie Christian. Come 1997 however Stigma and Muret began discussing a possible comeback for Agnostic Front, when top punk label Epitaph Records showed interest, the band's long-rumored resurrection became fact with former members Rob Capulet and Jimmy Coletti completing the lineup that recorded both 1998's Something's Gotta Give and 1999's Riot Riot Upstart in quick succession. The latter boasted an especially strong set of retro hardcore and featured guest appearances from mod Billy Milano and Rancid's Lars Fredrickson among others, 
With the hardcore scene that they'd helped build effectively dead in the dirt, few listeners outside the group's New York stomping grounds seemed to care about their return, but Agnostic Front continued to perform and record occasional albums like 2001's Dead Yuppies with bassist Mike Gallo, 2003's Working Class Heroes, 2005's Another Voice, 2011's My Life My Way, and 2015's The American Dream Died. Stigma, Miret and Gallo teamed with lead guitarist Craig Silverman and drummer Pokey Amo to record 2019's Get Loud, the cover art was an update of the images on cause for alarm created by the same artist Sean Taggart.